Here's a quick tour of AppView X ADC Plus. AppView X ADC Plus has many management capabilities outside of managing and monitoring ADCs and their application services. Apart from managing the F5, Citrix, A10, Cisco, and Akamai ADCs, AppView X also allows users to manage the SSL certificates across them. To start off, the primary functions on a device level would be taking backups that can either be extracted immediately or scheduled for later. One can also compare the different archives, allowing the users to see what changes might have occurred in the applications. Given the depth of comparison, users will be able to keep track of config drift, enabling configurations to be restored from previous backups. With this, you can not only perform a device level restore, but you also restore individual objects as needed. This is where AppView X stands out by giving users the ease of restoring individual objects or applications, like a virtual server, a pool, or a profile, rather than restoring the entire device configurations. The Control Center is the search engine of AppView X running on an index-based algorithm. The search is done through all configurations across devices, where the dependencies are mapped, showing the wide IP, wide IP pool, and wide IP pool member, followed by VIP, pool, and the pool members. It automatically recreates a holistic view, making it easier for users to troubleshoot. So when users question why their application is down, the network team can pinpoint and address the issue as they view it in a single console. It is enabled to automatically map the issue, giving details of the application, how it has been configured, and a snapshot of the entire configuration in a single pane of glass. Even if something is amiss, users can immediately log in to see why the application is down and easily troubleshoot the issue. The color coding is super simple and shows the availability status with an option to enable and disable that is replicated from the device along with the color scheme. The dashboard makes things easier. It gives a customized view so users can just log in and have their own view of the applications, like maybe a group of virtual servers or data centers, allowing partners to perform functionalities such as enabling, disabling, and taking servers in and out of rotation. With granular access, all modules are integrated in the RBAC that allows customization of roles. These customizations are for different business units, it could be for an operator or for multiple business units, depending on their functionalities and roles. Furthermore, one can also define what a user can do and cannot do by enabling or disabling certain functionalities. They are allowed to make changes that can be performed on individual pool members. So, we first define what the user can do in AppView X and then proceed to share with them where they can perform those tasks at very granular levels. Next comes certificate management. AppView X helps in discovering certificates that are offloaded on the ADCs and also scans the network for certificates through IP ranges, subnets, and URLs to deploy them to devices and servers. Discovered certificates are then inventoried with essential tracking details like subject name, serial number, and issue and expiry date. Users can also search for an application or a certificate that is associated with the profile of an application. It is integrated with various certificate authorities that makes it all the more easy to keep track of multiple certificates. Now, users need not go through the entire process of manually renewing a certificate. With AppView X, certificates are renewed automatically. On the reporting front, comprehensive reports for certificates expiring in 10 to 30 to 90 days are available. These reports can be scheduled and configured either as emails or SNMP traps. It also offers compliance reports that keep track of the compliant and non-compliant certificates based on the SSL policies created using AppView X in accordance to various organizational standards. The statistics module adds another dimension to AppView X ADC Plus in terms of performance monitoring. The Big Data Hadoop engine helps in providing statistical insights through a historical trend, both on an application and device level. The platform collects stats for up to three months by default. It is important to track audit and change logs, and keeping track of these changes with orphan object reports ensures performance efficiency. There is also the automated way of generating iHealth reports. 
That is when the QK view file is taken, a report is published, and sent out to you as a PDF. Regarding alerting capabilities, a threshold or threshold breach alert can be sent if an application is above or below a certain value. Syslogs or device level logs are also tracked, based on which emails or SNMP traps are sent out to users. This is important because you need to be aware of how your application is performing. Creation and deployment of applications with the provisioning module takes automation to a whole new level. AppViewX is integrated with ITSM, DNS, and IPAM systems, and these integrations, along with Python scripting, allows users to create custom templates or forms as simple as a service catalog. Users can select any form they need based on the configuration they want to create. Once these forms are completed and submitted, AppViewX automatically generates the necessary configurations. All these changes have to go through a work order-based approach until implementation, and the users get to decide who can create, approve, and implement a change using the role-based access control. Thus, you can automate complete application deployment. Thank you. Visit www.appviewx.com to get started with AppViewX.